This is Green Steve once again, and uh, today I want to ask you what might seem like a bit of a stupid question, a bit of a strange question, uh, but I want to ask you, would you be happy to leave a 100 watt light bulb on one hour a day in a room that wasn't used? Now you're probably thinking, no, of course I wouldn't Steve, why would anyone do that? But it just so happens that you might be doing something very similar, and you don't even know about it. Um, I'm guessing, since you're watching this on the internet, that you have an internet connection, which probably means you have a router of some sort, whether it's wireless or whether it's just a normal wired one. And these are normally left on in most households all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, but what if I told you that by leaving it on when you're not using it, you're actually, you know, you're, you're, you're doing the equivalent of leaving that light bulb on, that 100 watt light bulb on, for one hour every single day. Um, and I know this because I have one of these, which is a little um, energy monitor that you plug into your socket and you plug your appliance in to this uh, side here and you can, you can read the wattage that comes out. And I plugged it in um, for my router, turn the router on, and on average, the router takes 4.6 watts of power. Um, now that might not seem like a lot, uh, but it's on all the time and I reckon I use my internet at most four hours a day. Um, so if you were to take that 4.6 watts of power and take it over a whole 20 hours of the day which you're not using the internet, it actually works out at 0.092 kilowatt hours per day that is wasted. And like I said, that is the equivalent, almost the equivalent of having the 100 watt light bulb on for an hour a day. Um, now, to compare that to something else, I, I use this same monitor in uh, one of my plug sockets that has my TV and my Blu-ray player. And whilst they're on standby, the two um, items together actually only use 1.1 watts of energy. So the router does, it, it's energy intensive in a, in a way. Um, now, individually, of course, it's, it's not a lot of power, it's not a lot of energy. Um, it's not really cost you that much. Um, on average, it costs you about four pounds and three pence per household per year. But the interesting thing is that in the UK, according to a government survey, um, I think it was a census, maybe a uh, recent one, there are 21 million households with internet access, and almost all of these, if not all, will have a router of some sort. Um, so if if everyone leaves their router on for 20 hours a day where it's, being, where it's not being used, um, it actually works out at 1,932,000 kilowatt hours wasted per day. Um, if you're wondering why I keep putting down, I've got all my numbers written down because there's quite a lot of them. Um, now, over a year, that comes to a massive 705,180,000 kilowatt hours wasted per year just just from running a router, um, it's mind-boggling numbers. Now, according to the uh, Department of Energy and Climate Change, the current UK fuel mix has a carbon footprint of approximately 0.43 kilograms per kilowatt hour. So, if you take all those kilowatt hours, that's 705 million kilowatt hours over the year, and uh, you, you average it out, and it comes to 303,227 tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent wasted or, or emitted into the atmosphere just from routers, unused routers most of the time, that have been left on. Um, now I like to work to an average carbon footprint per person of about 10 tonnes a year. So that's actually the equivalent of over 30,000 people in terms of their carbon footprint, 30,000 people just for routers. Um, and like I said before, it, got, it costs each household about, about four pounds a year. So for every single one of those 21 million households with internet left their router on for 20 hours a day, unused, um, it actually, it costs the UK economy. Um, it costs us 
utility bill players, you know, my bill is £4 more per year because of my router, but it costs the whole UK £84.6 million pounds a year in electricity um, just to have these routers on. Now, if, you, you know, if you've got your laptop open right now or your phone, you'll be able to see how many of these wireless routers or these wireless signals are, are on near you. And I can tell you near me, there's about 15 within my, within my phone's range. There's about 15 wireless signals. Um, some will be business, obviously, um, which is another matter to go. I've not even included those in my calculations. But some are residential, some residential networks, um, the flats above and below, probably. Um, so yeah, if anyone says to you, oh, it's, you know, it's okay, the router doesn't need a lot of power, 4.6 watts, it doesn't sound like a lot, does it? It really doesn't, it's, it's, it's tiny. But when you have something on 24 hours a day, you never have a light bulb on 24 hours a day, do you? But you have a router on 24 hours a day, or at least, you know, at the moment you might, hopefully after watching this video you won't. Um, but yeah, you have something on over the whole day and you spread it across the whole population of the UK, we're talking 303,000 tonnes of CO2 equivalent. Now, that's, that's an awful lot. Um, okay, percentage-wise, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of the, the whole UK greenhouse gas emissions. It is a tiny, tiny fraction. Can't, you, know, you can't argue with that. Um, but the point is that small things add up. You know, this is a router. A, a, a one little router that's, that's causing this, or 21 million routers, I suppose. Um, so if anyone says to you, oh, we just, you need to focus on the big stuff, the small stuff doesn't matter, um, I, I think they're wrong. I think the small stuff does matter if you add it all up, a little bit here, a little bit there, across a whole population. You know, there's 60 million people in this country, 21 million households with the internet. It, it adds up. So what I'm urging you to do is that after you've watched this video, and after you turn off your computer or your phone and you're not using it anymore, switch your, switch, you know, just turn your router off. You don't, you don't need it on. There's no reason for it to be on. You're just wasting that electricity. And uh, hopefully I'll show you a few more little tricks in the future where you can just do a little bit here, a little bit there, and, and we can make a big difference across the whole, the whole country and even the whole world. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all from me for today. And I'll see you next time. See you later.